this is a 32 inch 165 hertz 1440p one millisecond response time display from Dell with a 1500 R code actually also and a height adjustable stand so let's unbox it and see how it looks all right the box opens from the top here all right so you'll see we have the dell s3222 dgn is the official name of this monitor a bit of leaflet there First we see our HDMI cable, our DisplayPort cable, and our standard power cable. And here is the stand base. Very sturdy looking. There we go. Nice feeling plastic also. More warranty, safety, and regulation. Here we go, here's the monitor itself. All right, so first you see the back of it actually. Here's the rest of our stand. This monitor is also VESA mountable with the VESA standard 100 by 100 millimeter. You can see the stand here, it can go up and down. So, from what I've seen, this is a very thick monitor. Just gonna lift up here from the bezel. You can see on the back here, we have a light bar, first of all, power connector, two HDMIs, and a display port. All right, so that's all we get in the box. Let's set it up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is assemble the stand. So how we're gonna do that is it just slots on like so, and there's this screw you can tighten just with your fingers. All right, now we are going to place the monitor on this stand. You'll see those two tabs slot in right at the top here. And you simply lower it. Now this height adjustment works very well. It does not have rotational, unfortunately. But here we are. Let's plug everything in and fire it up. All right, so I'm actually gonna have mine under the shelf here partially. So I'm going to lower it. And it doesn't fit. To solve this, I'm actually going to be using a monitor arm mount so I can also show you how to install it with the VESA. All right, so now since this VESA mount is actually indented in there, as you can see, I actually have to slide this on first and mount the whole arm. All right, so now I can mount the whole assembly and monitor onto my desk. This monitor barely fits in the space. Put it on the desk, and there we go. Let's get it in its final position. All right, that is just about perfect. Going to completely tighten it now. All right. Moving it into its final position there, you see we have zero clearance between the shelf and the desk. So now to the monitor, we are going to plug in DisplayPort to my PC, power to the wall, and HDMI for my Nintendo Switch. Alright, power is here on the far left. There we go. There we go. Alright, so my Nintendo Switch is in place. And let's put my keyboard in place. I think we have just enough room to see the bottom of the screen there. Mouse there. And I have my Nintendo Switch 
stand here, which I actually just use for my phone most of the time. We'll have to find a place for that later. Display port goes into my PC. All right, and one final thing before we turn it on, you won't see my cable managing because it is all under here. My power, ethernet, display port, keyboard, and keyboard charging. So I have these little adhesive anchors that you can put zip ties through, which I would highly recommend. Then I just used a Velcro for the power strip there on the side of my desk. Since my monitor is so big, the power button's right there, so it's a bit hard to get to, but we should be good now. We are going to click English. Here is our 32 inch monitor. Let's see what the control buttons do. Okay, preset modes. All right, Let's see what that does. Let's turn it down to FPS, shall we? Now I believe we'll keep it on standard. Nice. And a dark something. Okay. So now I'm just going to make sure we're running at 165 hertz because right now we definitely are not. Alright, so 165 there. Apply. And there we go. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the very next video. Bye.